I'm Mike Sharma, stroke neurologist from McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I presented the stroke results from the Compass River Oxaban trial here at the AHA stroke meeting on January 25th, 2018. Now, the COMPASS trial was designed to uh, find a better antithrombotic approach to prevent vascular events in patients with stable atherosclerosis. These patients have rates of vascular event approaching 5 to 10 percent per year in spite of modern preventive medications. Aspirin reduces these, these rates, but does so modestly, perhaps 19 or 20 percent per year as a relative risk reduction. In Compass, we compared aspirin 100 milligrams per day with rivaroxaban 5 milligrams BID and aspirin plus rivaroxaban 2.5 milligrams BID. The rivaroxaban alone arm did not prove to be effective. The aspirin plus rivaroxaban alone arm, however, was very effective. The primary endpoint of stroke, MI, and cardiovascular death was reduced with a hazard ratio of 0.76. Most interestingly for us, patients in Compass who'd previously had a stroke, that is to say the secondary prevention population, had on aspirin a stroke rate of 3.4% per year, and this was reduced to 0.7% per year on the combination of rivaroxaban and aspirin. The combination essentially have the rate of ischemic stroke. We did not see a significant increase in intracerebral hemorrhage. There was a numerical increase in the rivaroxaban plus aspirin arm, but this was not statistically significant. Hemorrhagic transformation, if anything, was reduced on the combination compared to aspirin. Mortality did not differ. The hazard for having a disabling or fatal stroke, that is to say a stroke, with an MRS of three to six was decreased with a hazard ratio of 0.58. So for patients who have stable atherosclerotic disease, coronary artery disease, uh, carotid stenosis, or peripheral vascular disease, the combination of rivaroxaban plus aspirin provides an effective new option for stroke prevention.